here. You can't just run your car in. Turn around. Or just let us pass by. Oh, wow. This is the mayor of Olympia about to run into somebody. This is the mayor of Olympia about to run into people. We have information about people school. It would be really good for you. <laughs> There's some information about people school, man. I think it would help in your decolonization. Because people went to talk to you? Are you serious? Your police tase houseless people. Wow, Cheryl, you were you were a real adult for being our mayor. Our mayor this is so disrespectful. She just left her car in the middle. Our of the mayor road. just left her car in the middle of the road. She's drunk. She doesn't want to have to do it. She doesn't want to have to do it with the cops oh. because she's gonna get a deal. Yo, Cheryl's trying to start shit. Yo, Cheryl, you drunk. If you're listening or hiding behind the security problem, you know what to do. Just I see that you have Black Lives Matter and Love is Love. I'm just wondering if the black life of the brother who was tased in the hotel in January, uh, who was houseless, is his life matter. And I'm wondering how much of that do you really think matters. Uh, but we're offering you to come to next session of People School, which is Black August 25th. Um, and it is, you know, open to anyone specifically wealth hoarders and land stealers who realize that they need to change their ways. So I'm going to put some information in your mailbox. If there's a camera out here, uh, please transmit that to the politics who lives in this house. And um, your 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 people, this land, have um, have a message for you. Chad, do you want to say anything? For you? I know you're not in this land, but do you want to say anything to this man? Yeah, we'd love to sit down and talk with you. It seems that there's some things that don't quite add up. You say you're for black lives, mm. but we've seen what happened to our brother down there in that hotel. We have concerns with how you're running the city. We have concerns with what you're allowing your cops to do. Mm. We invite you to come out to meet us, to talk with us in a good way so we can solve this stuff and make better choices for the people that live here. We kindly ask you to stop the sweeps. Yes! To stop militarizing the police. Yeah. And you're willing to talk with us like a human being, away from all your fine trappings, just person to person, heart to heart. Then we will sit down and talk. Oh, oh. Anyone else want to say? Would you like to say something? I heard you right after George Floyd was murdered. I heard you right after George Floyd was murdered. You said that Olympia also has the problem of racist police officers. You said the names of Andre Thompson and Bryson Chaplin by their first names, which you have no business calling those two young men mm. by their first names. And you said after George Floyd was murdered at a little press conference. You said that Andre Thompson and Bryson Chaplin were shot by a police officer who was racist. His name is Ryan Donald. I'm so grateful that Andre and Bryson survived. You called out the racism. This was the first time a Paula Trickster called out the racism. Mm. You called it out, yet you do nothing. You have these crappy videos on YouTube. Bunch of white people, Paula Tricksters, talking about racism as if a white person knows what racism was about. Mm. You say you want people of the color. You said that. You said that. You said people of the color. Thanks. Oh. I'm prayerful and also, you're full of shit. So Mary Shelby, this is Crystal Chaplin. Crystal well, Chaplin and Andre Thompson's mother. I'm here at your front door. 
and I'm demanding that you reopen the case against my son. Yes! yes. That officer to be held accountable for being racist and for shooting my son and paralyzing my youngest son. Yes. You know good and damn well that they reconstructed, they reconstructed all that scene down there on Cooper Point Road and they are the ones that are guilty, not my sons. So therefore, Mayor, open the case or we'll be at your doorstep every fucking day. <laughs> Um, thank you all for being here, um, and we'll talk to you all soon.